ang king's calling matagal ang cool down nito so this is it Raptor this is gonna be the final match of the series game number 7 ng ating world championship for Mobile Legends Bang Bang M2 Myanmar laban sa Pilipinas and now Bren Esports nakakuha sila ng Loi para kay Few para magawa nila yung poke na gusto gawin dito ng Bren Esports of course ang dami na, na uh, madalas na sinasabi ng Bren Esports na uh -huh. they like the poke uh, poke lineups na may pwede nila ilabas dito pero mukhang may skirmish dun sa middle lane para lang dun sa Litho Wanderer ang nakuha pa nga ng Litho Wanderer not really clear on who got to take it. Alam mo, ang, uh, mag ang power spike talaga dito uh, for the Burmese Gold side is it itong sikit. Ito uh, ang kailangan talaga nating bantayan dito. Meanwhile, naman dito sa Bren Esport, medyo scaling. Uh, other. Ang ganda na pagkakahook doon by Hugh Bot. Left easy! Oh! That, the dispersion rotation. Duality. Nakita duality. mo yung damage wow. ng pinagdikit doon si Kid at si Maybe. And... That was a glimpse of what's what about to happen during team fights. Oh, at ang ganda nga doon nung ano, rotation ni Flap. Actually, just in time, na napabalik doon ng Burmese Ghost. Kung wala ata si Flap doon, baka isipin pa nila na labanin yun eh. Mm -hmm. But again, the duality, the dispersion, and the rotation, yung combination ng a uh, few, uh, ng low yi, kung bakit masakit, and a lot of tea, a lot of people na ayaw talaga kalabanin yan in the early game, ang taas ng damage kahit isang minuto pa nga lang. Oo, oh, oh. pero kailangan nilang mag-ingat mag doon ha, sa mga ganong klaseng sundo ni uh, ni maybe as uh, it could very uh, get very uh, deadly para sa side dito ng Bren Esports buti na lang eh, may mga purify yung uh, yung dalawang mages dito ng Bren Esports as they could be able to cancel it out even na Rebo pwedeng pwede siyang umalis agad sa sa may king's calling if it uh, if actually needed so Burmese goal they could potentially be the one to set the tempo here on the game since nasa kanila ngayon ang uh, ang Brody let alone nasa kanila din Ooh! ang Lunox and wow masakit Masyadong masakit dito si Kuya Few. Wala pang level 4 yan. Hindi makakahook dito si Maybe. And ang Bren Esports, nagkakaumikon na sila dito sa May Turtle Pit. Mukhang may magkaka-rotation or magkaka-ultimate uh, dito si Lo Yi. Na-force out na nga yung power forward brilliance. Bren Esports, tuloy, tuloy, tuloy pa rin ang laban nila. Rebo, nagpo-focus pa lang, uh, lang siya doon sa bottom lane for the gold lane. Uh, kailangan nilang gawin yun. And again, the damage from Few. Eh, isa sa mga X-Factor natin dito, Rob. Hindi, hindi na ma-maximize ngayon ng Burmese Goal yung power spike nila. Oh, they are very strong sakit. on the first five minutes of the game. Look at that. The diversion doon sa may bandang likod. That was only literally a diversion. Oh. Pero si Few is actually get picked off. Nahuli doon si Few pero si Ribo nakaka-farm pa doon sa bottom lane. Napagamit ng Bravest Fighter dito si Lapu-Lapu pero si Flap TZ nagdi-disrupt dito. That's gonna be Carl TZ and Lusty. Hindi sila makakapasok sa Turtle Pit. Andun nakabantay ang Burmese Ghouls. Sa gitna, so Carl TZ and Lusty hindi ata sila makakontest pero hindi pa masyado na umpisahan dito ng Burmese Ghouls. Oo, oh, oh. pero nanu-neutralize lang yon dahil si Ribo doon sa mabahay uncontested yung kanyang farm. Pero dito si Flap TZ, under team members dito ngayon Anang dito ng Burmese Ghouls. Yung si Sipa ni Lusty! Pero nila pag ng King's Calling, pero bali wala double lang yun. Double kill! That was a double kill na magagaling dito kay Few. May susunod pa nga yata. At uh. yun ay si Ruby DD. But the Wild Church will be enough to kill doon si Few. Pero may comeback kill yon Dahil si Carl TZ will be killing Ruby DD. 3 for 1 trade na nangyari lamang ang Bren Esports. Ang problema sa Burmese Ghouls, si Ribo. Naiwan na. Naiwan lang. Nagpa-farm lang dyan si Ribo. Tignan mo na nga. 2.4k ang goal niya dito. Palapit-lapit na siya para sa first uh, main item niya. And now Burmese Ghouls, yung mga mangyari dito, kailangan na nila mag-send mag ng isa para depensahan lang yung bottom lane. Yung masakit doon, hindi eh, mahirapan dito ang Burmese Ghouls in a teamfight. Uh, lumalamang na yung Bren. Lumalamang talaga sila dito. Naiwan nila na nagpa-farm dito sa baba. At ito lang yun eh, nakita na natin yung King's Calling. Binagsak nila yun doon, pero it doesn't even matter. Well, wala pa naman dun si Ribo. That, that is the reason why they actually picked it. Pero it's all Ruby. about Fiyu making the plays and the damage. And another King's Calling ang magagaling dito oh, kay Maybe. Hindi na hatak dun si Ribo, nagamit niya yung Purify para manegate yung hatak dun ni Maybe si Flap TZ na... Ah, uh, sobrang nabawasan dito. Kailangan na niya bumalik sa base. Lasty nag-position na spot out dito si Main Sitar. Kinombohan. And here comes Carl TZ with a blazing oh! duet! And nakakuha ng isa ang Bren. Lumalamang dito ang Bren at lumalaki ang lead. Burmese schools. Medyo nahirapan. Hindi sila masyado makahanap ng momentum na hinahanap nila. Pero huwag natin kalimutan, meron pa silang Brody case. 
At ayun na, yun ang gusto nating alamin is kung kaya ba nila oh, i-neutralize yun. Dahil si Coel TC ay napitas! The Wombo Combo na nilabas dito ng Burmese Ghouls. Kinumit nila lahat ng ultimate and that is gonna be a gold swing para sa Burmese. Pero kapit lang, hinga lang tayo Pilipinas kasi si Ribo sa bottom lane, ang daming farm na nakuha niya on that Harris. Nabasag din niya yung unang torre ng laro natin. Si Flap DC, TZ, nagsusustain dito. Ace and maybe, ginagamit nila lahat para lang mapitas dito si Flap at hindi makakatulong oh! ata si Ribo. Pero gulong, tuwalon, oh! at nakabalik pa nga si Flap TZ. Oh no, ang kunat ng kulong. Yun yung literal talagang oh, nangangin ng chicharon. Dahil si Ribo dito ang makakatakas. No? We're using uh, that Zaman Force. And ngayon, Reptar, dikit ang gold. Pero tayo ang unang nakakuha ng tore. Pero ito ang iisipin mo. Power Spike, nasa Burmese Ghoul yun. Pero sumasabay ang Bren Esports sa early game. Yeah, we have the Claude, we have the Harith. Meron din tayong Low Yi, the magic damage of the zoning ay ang nandun para sa atin. Si Lux, si Sisi Paen dito, si T, and si Ripo. The combination is clear. Si Maybe ginamit yung King's Calling para negate dito si Ripo. And mukhang makakalaban dito ng Burmese Ghouls. Nahuhuli si Ripo at nahuhuli si Lasty. Double kill yun para sa Lapu-Lapu. Si Kid, nakita dito si Pew. The dispersion, the rotation, the duality. One for one, Pew versus Kid. Adol ng mga kids versus the kid of Burmese Ghouls and makawalit dito si Pew! The rotation by Ruby DD at nakatakas pa nga dito si Kid with a power forward and brilliance pero shutdown naman para kay Flap TZ nakakaganti pa dito ang Bren Esports 2 for 1 na ang lead ng Torre natin but ang Bren Esports wala pa sa talo and dito pa rin sila sa laban na to ang nangyari kasi doon eh sobrang fortunate na nandoon si Maybe ang saktong sakto yung lapag ng King's Calling as two heroes ng Bren Esports talagang nagre-rely with the mobility with their dash Sakto yun, si Lusty at si Ribo yun. Pero ah, si Carl Tizi rito, mga kaibigan, still oh! got the form as Kid is about to go down dahil si Ruby D, di medyo na late ng konti. Si Carl Tizi, buo pa buhay niya, hindi pa ata papasok. Pero yung push na ginawa ng Bren Esports galing sa top, papuntang purple buff, yung parang mukhang hinahabon nila mga membro ng Burmese Ghouls. Ginawa lang nila yun para makafarm si Carl Tizi. And si Ribo, look at that, Zaman Force, basic attack. 2 for 2 na ang tore natin. It's still a close game next to next pa rin tayo dito sa World Championship Grand Finals, Kuya Rob. O, oh, mihinga pa nga. Uh, uh, all the while, Bren Esports are actually taking the lead as Bren. Ngayon, Burmese Gold, sumasapak-sapak sila ngayon dito, Reptat. Pero, kung mapapansin mo, yung pwesto dito ng mga members natin, mas free gumalaw dito ang Bren Esports as Carl TC is actually having the time of his That life na mag-farm sa mga jungle nila. King's Calling, pero Tortoise is Precious ang kinakain dito ng Burmese Gold. Ayaw mo na sobrang malapit sa'yo si Flap TZ. And that's gonna be called easy going in. Art of Favory, mataas, pero hindi siya makakahanap ng opening kung makapasok. 35 seconds hanggang mag-spawn nung pa ang segundong turtle natin sa laro na to. And Flap TZ trying to find a bit of control there in the bottom lane. It's still a really close game. It can be anyone's game, Kuya Rob. It is. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. It's anyone's ball game talaga to, Kuya Reptar. Itong gitnang tore ngayon ng Burmese Ghoul, ito yung talagang nag-hold sa kanila para hindi makapag-snowball dito ang Brelly Sport. As Pew is about to go down. Yung King's Calling, nilapag na dito. Ang tanong, papalag pa kaya rito ang Bren Esports as they are about to disengage. Nirirespeto nila dito ang first damage ng Burmese Gold as they are about to take na lang yung turtle at mukhang hindi yata magkokontest. Tignan mo yung pwesto dito ni Ruby Didi. Kinakat niya yung minion wave para mabasag ng Burmese Gold yung gitnang tore ng Bren Esports. Papasok na dito, Bren Esports. This could be a big moment there. The blazing to it! The wild charge, hindi na interrupt si Carl Tizi. Buhay pa din dito ang Bren. Buhay pa rin si Carl. The first damage na nilalabas ang Burmese Gold. That's gonna be a one for one trade. Flap and Ruby DD ang nawala. Pero buhay pa rin ang mga carry. That's gonna be a pull. Hindi na hatak si Carl Tizi. Munti ka na yun. One for one trade. A close game. And yung nangyari doon kung bakit nakuha ng Bren Esports yung Turtle is because nakita nila nag-overcommit sila ng ultimates doon sa gitna bago nag-turtle ang Bren. So Bren, kukunin nila yung turtle kasi alam ng Burmese Ghouls or alam nila na alam ng Burmese Ghouls na masyadong risky kung i-contest natin ito. Kailangan uh, i-approach ng Bren Esports itong uh, yung uh, mga teamfights nila carefully. Possible, mas ang pinakamagandang scenario dito, Reptar, e mabait nila yung King's Calling for them to be able to go doon sa may backlands mismo ng Burmese Ghoul. Kasi itong si Ace, sobrang uh, bantay sarado to eh. Look at Lusty, looking in on to maybe pero kalma lang muna dito ang Bren Esports. They have the map. Oh. They could potentially be the one to take the Lord. Pero look at here on Carl the bottom. Easy. As the 
ay mawawala by Carl ah! DC. Sama po pa si Flat TZ. Dahil dito, si Few, si Nozonald, yung dalawang members ngayon ng Burmese School. Nakaka-invade na ang Bren Esports sa jungle ng Burmese School. Si Grok nasa top lane para maka-split push lang. Pareto na ang Bren. Sila ang lamang. Kulang dito si D. Kulang si dito sila ng damage. Si Lusty with a knock-up. Si Ruby D. Ang disipa. Maybe as well. Si Flap masyadong malalim pero si Flap ang grabe ng zone out dito ni Flap TZ para sa Bren Esports. Lusty with a kick. Flap TZ na wala. Si Carl TZ ang naking kuhalin dito but the blazing the wet is there. Papasok si Carl TZ with the BMI and si Kino mauwalin ni Carl. Pumalik si Carl. Ito si Ruby D. Mauwalin si Ruby D. Dalawa ang nawala sa Burmese Schools. Double kill para kay Carl TZ. Ang ganda. Hindi pa yata sila tapos doon as they are about to go for a diversion doon sa may bottom lane. Maganda na rin yun dahil pwede nilang kunin ngayon dito ang Lord Reptar dahil dalawang members dito ng Burmese School into the Death Timers is more than well. Mga 20 seconds pa yun. Pero ngayon, kalmado muna tayo. Tignan mo yung Gold Reptar. In terms of map control, tayo ang nakakalmang. Pero yung Gold, hindi naman nalalayo as this Burmese School Uh, Burmese goal, may farm dito si Ace. Kung mapapansin mo, ang galing din ng kanyang spacing. Mm. Hindi rin siya basta-basta ang pumapasok. Pero kailangan lang ulit-ulitin ng Brain Esports yung ginawa nila kanina. Even Ruby DD, nababurst daw na ngayon ng Brain Esports. Yeah, and now, Bren, really close. But it's still a long game. Lord na, inupasahan dito ni Carl TZ. Back siya, nasa likod. Magkakata fata dito si Flap. And the positioning of uh, Bren Esports, lamang sila dito, hindi pa siya ma makalabat ang mga member ng Burmese Schools. This is for the Lord, potentially for the championship. Papasok si Ruby DD and Bren Esports, the discipline. Ni-reset nila yung Lord, hindi pa sila. Pero si Carl, inahabot si Ruby DD. He smells blood, he smells a kill. Tingnan mo naman, nasusunod dito. Thumbs up! Galing kay Carl TZ. Buhay pa naman dito ang Bren. Mega kill for Carl. And lamang na ang Bren Esports dito para sa turtle fight. Pero uh, Lord fight, pero si Lasty ang nahuli na King's Calling. Nakagamit sila ng ultimate para bu Oh! Blazing to it! Yan tsaka yung Zaman Force! Unstoppable! Oh my God! Tatlong na wala sa Burmese Schools! Apat na! Double kill kay Rebo! Bren Esports in the lead! Sila pa ang makakakuha ng Lord Kuya Rob! Hindi lang Lord! Dahil yung diversion ginamit na doon sa may bandang kitna dahil potentially na pwede na rin nilang makuha yung base turret dito sa may bandang kitna dahil dito si Kuya Rebo gumamit na ng Zaman Force with a Chrono Dash! Ano ngayon? Pupipili pa kayo ng Min Sitar pero wala lang naman nagagawa yun dahil kumapalagpalag na ngayon dito ang mga Miebre Berry Carl TZ blazing the wet and retro sa likod na huli ito si Kid Monster kill for Carl TZ at Brad Esports It's looking real Philippines yung World Championship natin buhay pa rin si Tayo ang lamang pero lalaban pa rin ang Bren Disiplina lang para matapos ang laban Oh my The plays here from Bren Esports Yung diversion dito ni Few Ito yung nagbibigay ng anxiety ngayon dito for Burmese Ghoul Hindi nila alam kung saan sila pupweso Hindi nila alam kung gogo ba doon yung Bren Esports And somehow Itong bato na to Ultimo siya yung bato Pero ang lambot The Lord is here and Bren Esports, they smell blood. 6K ang gold din nila. Si Flap TZ gumugulong ngayon. Dumenta retro na at Bren Esports, kinukuha nila yung mga tore dito. Bottom tower, ano wala na para sa Burmese Goose Ultimate sa kamakabita. Si Pio, ano po first time? Si D sa likod. Pero ito si Ribo, si Kuya mo Ribo with the Zaman Force. Pio, Lusty, and Kat TZ sa likod. That's gonna be a 2 for 1 trade. God like Kat TZ, yung big to win! Carl TZ, double kill, BMI, eto na ata, Pilipinas, Bren Esports, ang inyong world champions! Bren Esports! Pwede, pwede ko na sabihin, pinasarap lang, pinasarap lang, pinanalo lang, pinasarap lang! Gusto ba, gusto ba manalo na series? Oh my God! Bayang Magilio ang mga anak ng perlas ng silang anan Flatizi Lusty Few Carltizi Ribo Coco EJ sila na ang kampeon ng mundo Bren Esports ang panalo sa Grand Finals
as well as Contra Lysander. Can you hear them screaming? What an incredible series, an incredible M2. They are going to be looking back at the history books and M2, the closest best of seven you have ever seen in Mobile Legends history. Now, I'm pretty sure all over in the Philippines, they are screaming, Brang La Malakas! Congratulations, people. Congratulations, Congratulations Philippines. Wow. All right. Let us catch our breaths for a while now. Bren Esports. Sila ang ating kampeon we'll ng mundo. World <laughs> champions. Speechless, Reptar. Pilipinas. Speechless indeed. Oh my. Alam ko yung mga nanonood dyan sa inyong mga tahan. Alam ko excited na excited kayo dito sa naging laban na to. Tayong kampiyon ng mundo, men. Steven mo, Pilipinas. Tayong kampiyon ng mundo. Brand Esports. Ang nagwagi. At sila ang kampiyon. History has been made. Rebo has officially completed the perfect trophy lineup. MSC champion, MPL champion, world champion. Totoo ang kasabihan ko yung Reptar. Na Bren lang ang malakas. I know you're you're emotional right now, Reptar, and na na I can feel it. I can feel it. Let it out. Let it out. Na ibato pa ni Coach Daki. Before anything else, we're gonna give you and throw you to our host live in Singapore, Pilipinas. But of course, there can only be one winner. But of course, we got the prize, the presentation coming up in just a while. We're just waiting for everyone to be ready before we invite a few guests on stage to present the present. Lysander, you are invested in the game. How is it like for we you? We were all invested. I'm telling you, they are going to look back. One day, the analyst desk, they're always going to bring back M2. They say, remember M2, remember M2. There was this team that made it 2-0. And then there's the other team that brought it to game seven. There's always going to be a reference back to this M2. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I hope they remember this. I hope this keeps up for M3 because this has been an incredible game. Now, to present the stay the medals for the championship team can we please welcome the chief executive of the singapore tourism board mr keith tan on stage please mr keith tan thank you so much for joining us thank you sir yes sir thank you so much lysander do the honors for the championship team for m2 world championship your m2 World Champion from the Philippines, Brand Esports! I'm now gonna call up each of the players to receive their awards from our VIP. First up, we have Rebo. Woo! Round of applause for all these champions up on stage right now. Thank you. Next up, Carl TZ. And next, we have Few. Their tank, Lusty. And Flapteezy. Not forgetting their substitute players as well, Coco as well as AJ. Definitely deserve their support as well. Congratulations to these players. And of course, the man that brought them all together, their coach and manager, Ducky! Waving the flag for Philippines. A great honor for all Filipinos at home. Mobile Legend history has been made here. All right, now, Teams, can we please have a picture with the Keith Tan for the cameras right now? Let's all smile for the cameras. 
We'll give it maybe, say, six seconds for all your pictures to go down for the cameras. Smile with your eyes, boys. I know the masks are blocking those big, big smiles. A so smile with those eyes, boys. Congratulations, you are champions! All right, we're just waiting for the thumbs up from our producers to make sure that we got the pictures down already. Thank you so much, Mr. Keith Tan, once again, the Chief Executive of the Singapore Tourism Board. Please safely make your way off stage. Now for Brand Esports, can I invite you to just take a few steps back, a few steps back to give space for our next VIP coming up on stage to present the check for the final MVP, Member of Parliament and Skoga patron, Mr. Melvin Young on stage, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Producers, we need some help. We've not been told the results. I have a good guess. Okay, I have a good guess. I mean, we have been all watching the games. It is, it is the best fencer at M2, the Lancelot Specialist, Carl TZ! It was top secret, Lysander. Top secret, that is an open secret. Philippines, you are, you have been so blessed with Carl TZ as your Lancelot Specialist has done so well across the entire M2 tournament. All right. Carl Teasy and Mr. Melvin Young, could we have you in the center stage for a picture, please, of the camera? Carl Teasy and Mr. Melvin Young, could we have you center stage for a picture? Thank you so much, sir. And thank you so much, Carl Teasy. Show off your check. Show off your MVP yeah. check. There you go, Carl. You're going to remember this for a long time, my friend. You're going to remember this amazing moment for a long time. Everyone smile. We're waiting for the go-ahead. All the pictures to be taken. Front page news tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, in the Philippines and here in Singapore. I'm assuming we are done. Thank you so much once again, Mr. Melvin Young. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. And of course, Bren, it's about time. We're going to need two of you guys. All right. Bren Esports, can I have one on the left and one on the right to lift your plug now? Bring it to the front first. We're going to do this on the count of three. All Bring right. it to the front. So, Ducky, take the plug, put it down first. Put it down. Take the plug. Yeah, and be careful, it it's, it's heavy, heavy. it's it heavy. heavy. It is heavy. Two people? Yep, all right, guys. Move it to the front. Take yeah, it down it to first. The front. Yep. Be all right, be careful with it, guys. All, all right, right all put right. it down. All right, all right. Bring it to the front. Ducky, take a few steps for yep, Brandy Sports. To the front. Okay. Joking, we're going to do this on the count of three. Like, one, one, two, two three. three. Go! Your champions once again, Brand Esports for M2 World Championships. Bobo Legends Bang Bang deliver one of its greatest finals ever. Lysander, I dare say, Brand Lang Malaka. Lang Malaka, indeed. Congratulations, Philippines. Well earned, well deserved. Rob, yes. world champions, nakikita mo ang mga miyembro ng Bren Esports. Few ang may nakahawak ngayon. And here we are, the end of M2.